And why did Mary and Joseph travel to Bethlehem? It was for the taxation, but why did they have to go to Bethlehem? Why couldn't they stay in Nazareth? Why couldn't they go to Canaan? Why did they have to travel to Bethlehem? <coughs> to pay their taxes. But why did they have to travel to Bethlehem to pay their taxes? There's a connection here. Because that's the only place they could pay it. It was the only place they could pay it. <coughs> Way to reward things, bro. We're getting there, but we're going in a circle at this point. We need to get out of the circle and move this way a little bit. Who were Mary and Joseph both descendants of? Okay. Fast forward a little bit farther. Who's more important than Judah that they're descended to from? David. Where was David from? Bethlehem. Bethlehem. And since David was from Bethlehem, they had to travel back to the place of origin to, be, to pay their taxes. And we find that they had to travel there based upon Matthew chapter 1 and verse 6 and Luke chapter 3 and verse 31. Is someone going to read Luke 3.31? <coughs> Luke 3.31. 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 Luke 
that he died roughly around 8 to 30 AD, based upon the last time we see him alive with Jesus at the age of 12. And we see his absence at the wedding of Cana at the age of 30 of Jesus. He was probably buried near Nazareth, since that was where Mary still lived at the beginning of Christ's ministry. So if they left Nazareth to go to Bethlehem, they returned to Nazareth. And when Jesus started his earthly ministry and Mary was still in Nazareth, more than likely that's where Joseph was buried. Once again, his death date was not recorded historically because socially... He wasn't important like Mary was. Is that what you're saying? Because it mentioned more about Mary than that. In his time frame, if I passed away right now with the newspapers recorded, would it be frontline news? Because we're not important. But if no. you get some celebrity or something, it's all over the news. Right? Exactly. Joseph was nobody important. When we look at her time frame, besides being the, the mother of the Messiah, Mary wasn't anybody important. No governor would have said, oh, Mary, come and eat with me today. We, it's an honor to have her. She was poor. There was nothing special about her in her time frame. And neither was her with Joseph. And because of that, there would have been no historical recognition of his death date. We'll conclude here, and next week we'll pick up with lessons that we can learn from Joseph. But let's bow our heads right here and prepare our hearts for the remainder of the service. Gracious Heavenly Father, we give you all praise and glory for everything you've done for us and will do, because you alone are holy and you alone are worthy. Even right now, we rebuke every attack of the enemy that should come our way. We pray that you set your angels at the four corners of the property above and below, that no attack of the enemy may penetrate. I pray that our hearts and our minds would be in one mindset and one accord, that we may worship you in sincerity and truth, that the Holy Ghost may move, making himself visible and pursue desires, that he may freely move and not be hindered. We would rebuke every attack of the enemy that should come our way. I pray, Lord, that we would be humbled in your sight, Lord, that our spirits would be in right check, that we may be pleasing in your sight today, that we may be in one mindset and one accord, that we may worship you in sincerity and truth, in one mind and one body, Lord, as a church, that you may receive all glory and honor because you alone are holy and worthy. Anoint the song leader and the musicians as they praise you upon the string instruments and the vocal cords, as they lead us in the songs you have us to hear. Anoint the pastor as he brings forth your word today. Give him a special blessing as well. Anoint mind and his lips to bring forth the words you have us to hear. May our hearts and our minds be plowed that they be good soil for your word to follow, that we may remember it throughout the week, but even greater than that, that we may apply it to our lives, Lord, and be transformed into your very image. And if there be something that we do not understand, may we have the mindset of Mary. And even if we don't understand them, may we ponder them in our heart, because they are your words. We ask all these things in the name of Jesus. Amen. Yeah, that's good.